whether it was Jefferson or Robert Woods or Cooper Cup or Higby, you, you saw something that you said, okay, it might, you know, after week one observation, I would say, he might have got it right. Athlete eyeball test. He might he might have got it right. Athlete right. eyeball test, the Stafford arm talent we've all been Ooh. seeing for all these years. Did that pop out to you? Yeah. yeah. Different, right? Than yeah, Goff. Yeah, yeah, it was a little. He, he might have got it right. He might have got it right, but. It's week one. Let's just, we're going to, you know. You're going to pump the brakes a little no, bit? No, I'm not. I'm just saying, let's. I'm not. Because I, I, I know where this is going. I know it's this, what do they call it, overreaction Monday yeah, type stuff. Yeah, of course. Everybody's going to put them. got bills to pay. Everybody's right. going to put them in the Hall of Fame. Everybody's going to make it just, it, like, hold on, because there's teams like Seattle and San Francisco and Arizona. They all won. And so when you start <laughs> to brutal see decision, see what's happening within the division, what happens? I did feel like Jared Goff felt how Matthew Stafford felt. Last year, just with the oh, pass oh. rush that they had the whole game. I mean, they almost, they almost came back against 49ers. They almost pulled it off. But you, you, you felt that for him. And then watching Matthew Stafford, knowing that the Rams only scored 34 or more points twice last season, they were 12-4, and four, it really seemed key like Sean McVay was like, okay, I can open up this playbook. Like, we can, we can throw the ball deep. There's not that inconsistency that we had with Jared Goff before. And it seems like Matthew Stafford can do things that are more off schedule. It just feels like they, they hit that stride more often. Or, or Chicago's defense is overrated, and we push them up because it's the Chicago Bears. That could be, that could be true, too. And so I'm just want to wait. I give the Rams all the credit in the world for doing – the right thing, winning, picking up Stafford. Let's just, you know, it's one game. And the Bears also had chances, and Dalton didn't get it, where they didn't get it done when they did have chances. But Stafford just – Stafford – look, I really think the pressure for Stafford is going to come in the playoffs, presuming they make the playoffs, because that game one in the playoffs, where it's a coin flip, maybe you're 60-40 to win. If he loses – if he wins that, oh, okay, see, it was Detroit all the time. That's the reason he never won in the playoffs. But if Stafford gets to the playoffs and loses game one, oh, it's going to be bad for him. There are other guys around the league facing a lot of pressure in the regular season, but I don't think anyone will face more in the playoffs than Stafford. Yesterday, I felt it was like on McVay. Okay, you got your guy. What are you going to do? It looks pretty good. So it, it looks real good. I, you, again, can't complain with the, the outing. Um, he's got the – this is probably the most talent around mm. collectively that Matthew Stafford has ever had. And Sean McVay knows what to do with quarterbacks. Clearly, we saw what he was able to do early on with Jared Goff that led him to a Super Bowl appearance against the New England Patriots. So if he continues to just keep building, then I think Matthew Stafford is going to be something special for the Rams, and they're going to feel good about it. This is the first year in this offense, first game. As the games continue to keep going, he's only going to get better and better, more comfortable in the situation. And then the Rams will be one of those teams we talk about at the end of the year. It happened from, from the, the initial kickoff, right? Bears came back. They had like a 50-yard return. Then they had a running play on their second down, had like a 30-yard running play. They're on the goal line. And Andy Dolan throws a pick. Now, I know the ball got tipped, right? But you, you, you're watching that, and you're saying, damn, the first time you're seeing the Bears in the red zone, Andy Dolan throws a pick. And my thing is, I just – Justin Fields brings more excitement to the field, Key. Remember I He's said more this, dynamic. Though, Jay. Remember I said Andy Dalton – I mean, Justin Fields is going to be the starter this week coming up. Remember I said – Second week, week two. Week two? Yeah. I can see it. I can smell it. Yeah, you know, it's funny because – I understand why you start Andy Dalton. It's not because he's better. Obviously, Justin Fields is better, right? It looks pretty obvious from the preseason. It's because you want to protect Justin Fields, make sure he's ready, give the offensive line a little time, whatever. But there's always the danger. If you lose games where they think if you got a little better quarterback play, you can win, that you sink your season early and if lose he, the team. That's why you got to stop the bleeding right now, though. So if you start him week two, you st you put that you, – you now you're stopping the bleeding because you've now re-energized your team – your defense, which is supposed to be the, the the killer for your team. So now you've re-energized them all over again. If you roll Andy Dalton out there, Andy Dalton threw the ball 38 times, man. If you're throwing the ball 38 times and you got zero touchdowns and you, you've you only thrown for barely 200 yards, it's a real issue. Well, that, means you're not, that means you're not pushing the ball down the field. And the Bears defense didn't look great. That secondary got carved up. Yeah. The Bears' defense hasn't been great for a couple of years now. They, they had a reputation. They built the reputation the, like right, three Max, years it's ago. That, it's that reputation, like I said, it's Bears. Yeah. It's almost like everybody out in L.A. going crazy because UCLA beat LSU. I'm like, no, nah, man. Y'all beat LSU. Y'all didn't beat Joe Burrow's LSU team. Mm -hmm. Y'all beat the brand. 
Yep. So stop it. Justin Fields. Oh, did Stephen A. and Dan Orlovsky give me a give me problems when I said the Giants should draft Justin Fields? Well, we already they already have Daniel Jones. Yeah, I know. And maybe he could wind up being a good quarterback one day. But Justin Fields has a chance to be great. I mean, he has a chance. Justin Fields has a chance to be great, yes or no, Key? A chance to be great. I think Daniel Jones might have a chance. To be great. See, but the great word, Max, is, I don't know, it's, it's one of them words that I don't like to throw out there. I think Justin To be Fields, excellent. Yes. Justin Fields has a chance to be excellent. Yeah, great is great. Great you, is, is, a, yeah, is a resume. Yeah, yeah, great is a different, man. You got It's a long body of work for years, multiple Pro Bowls, multiple championships. I mean, it's different. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.